Hello friends and neighbors and welcome back. Today we're going to be making this beautiful little doily. The name of this pattern is the five point star doily and this comes from a book full of crochet book number 52 from the Spool Cotton Company with a copyright of 1935. This makes a little doily. It works up really fast. For our materials, we need our crochet thread. I am using size 30 crochet thread. And then you need a steel crochet hook number three or number four, and I'm using a number four today. So for round one, we're gonna chain seven, and we're gonna join to form a ring. And then we're going to chain five and into our ring we're going to put seven double crochets with a chain two space in between. So we've chained our five and that counts as a double crochet in our chain two. So we're going to put a double crochet And then a chain two, a double crochet, chain two until you have all seven. And then at the end, we've uh, put our last double crochet and we've chained two. And then we're gonna go into the chain five we made at the beginning and into the third stitch, we're gonna slip stitch to join. And then you should have this and you should have a total of eight spaces. So for round two, we start with a chain three. And into the first space, we're gonna put four double crochets. And then in each remaining space, we're gonna put five double crochets. There's no chain in between, we just put five double crochets and then go to the next space, five double crochets, go to the next space.
And then this pattern is a little vague about the end, about joining. Um, but by looking at the pictures, they do join. So slip stitch to the third chain of the chain three uh, and join. For round three, we're going to chain three. Then we're going to skip the first double crochet and put one double crochet in the next seven spaces. And then we're going to chain five and then put eight double crochets over the next eight spaces and that's the pattern that we repeat for this round chain five eight double crochets over the next eight spaces chain five eight double crochets Once we get back to the beginning, we're going to take our chain, our last chain five, and slip stitch to the third uh, space of our chain three and join. For round four, we're going to slip stitch over to the next double crochet. So just one slip stitch, we're just moving our working stitch over. And then chain three. And put one double crochet into the next five spaces. So you should be putting a double crochet on top of the double crochets from the previous round. And you see that. We slip stitch to skip the first double crochet from the previous round and then we are going to skip the last double crochet in this little group and that's going to give it that tapered effect for our star point. So after our fifth double crochet, then we're going to chain five and we're going to put a single crochet right in the center of the chain five loop from the previous round and then chain five again.
and now we're at our next group of double crochets we want to skip over the first double crochet and then put six double crochets over the next six spaces and we want to skip that last double crochet and then we're going to chain five put a single crochet into the loop of the previous round and then chain five again and we're going to uh, repeat that for this round so we want to skip a double crochet put six double crochets over the next six spaces and skip the last double crochet chain five single crochet into the loop chain five and repeat So for rounds five and six, we're doing uh, basically the same thing as round four, except we we will be reducing our double crochet and adding a extra chain five loop between them. We want to slip stitch over to the next double crochet, chain three, and put one double crochet into the next three spaces, and skip that last double crochet. You can see for round three our group had eight double crochets for round four it had six so for round five we will have four chain five single crochet into the chain five loop from the previous round chain five single crochet into the center of the next chain five loop and then chain five again skip the first double crochet and then double crochet into the next four spaces skipping the last double crochet and we're going to repeat that and you can see how, how we're making a star point so chain five single crochet into the chain five space from the previous round chain five single crochet in the next chain five space 
chain five and then skip over that first double crochet double crochet in the next four spaces and skip the last double crochet and then at the end of this round we want to slip stitch to the third chain of our beginning chain three when we make our last chain five And then for round six, we will be making a group of two double crochets. So we want to slip stitch over and then chain three to begin, then double crochet in the next space, and then chain five. We're skipping that last double crochet single crochet into the first chain five space and then chain five single crochet into the next space chain five single crochet into the next space and then chain five Then at our next double crochet group, we're going to skip the first double crochet, put a double crochet in the next two spaces, and then skip the last double crochet. And we are going to repeat that around, and at the end, our last chain five, we're going to slip stitch to the third space of our chain three. Now we're almost done. We've done the hard part. We've made our star. So for round seven, we are going to do one double crochet at each point. So we're going to start with a chain three for our first double crochet. And then we're going to chain five and do our loops. And there should be a total of five loops between each point. So do chain five, single crochet into the first loop of the previous round, chain five, single crochet into the next loop. And then after you do your fifth chain five, we're going to do one double crochet. We're going to do one double crochet and then chain five and repeat. So single crochet in the next space, 
chain five, single crochet the next space, chain five, and continue that for a total of five loops, and then do a double crochet at your next point. And then at the end, you want to slip stitch to the top of our chain three. For round eight, this is our final round. We're going to start with our chain three as our first double crochet. And we're going to do two double crochets into the next loop, chain three, and then three double crochets into that same loop. For this round, we're putting our pretty little finishing ruffle around the edge. So we're going to go over to the next loop and we're going to put three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets all in that same loop. And we are just going to repeat that all around for each of our little chain five spaces. Put three double crochets, a chain three and then three double crochets and then when we get back to the beginning after you do your last double crochet slip stitch into the chain three and then fasten off and cut your yarn And here is our finished doily. It's so pretty. Now you could starch this if you want. Um, I don't think I'm going to. I don't mind the ruffle around the edge. But if you wanted to hang this on your tree, um, you would probably want to starch it so it would hold its shape better. These are the perfect size for coasters to put under your drink. So you can make a set of these, uh, four, six, um, however many you'd like, and give those as a gift. Those would be a wonderful Christmas gift. So I hope you've liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I won't have another video before Thanksgiving. So I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday and I will see you all next time.